Hello everybody, my name is Alan, I'm from Sauber Lab, and today will be another video about Home Assistant. In this video specifically, we're gonna show how you can add or continue to use Zigbee, principally to connect with the MQTT, or Mosquito Broker, or any kind of uh, message push. In this video, we're gonna show how you can install Zigbee to MQTT and how to do all the initial configuration. We're gonna not go so deep in the add device, but uh, you're gonna have much more ability to add a different device using this Zigbee to MQTT compared only for the stand integration for your USB dongle. I will give you some examples before we continue only for you understand what I'm talking. If you have one of those that's only on and off your lamp, no problem, you're gonna see no difference. If you have a uh, temperature collection, where they collect the temperature over the day, yes, you're not gonna see any difference. But once that you start to use some different device, look like a USB remote control or universal remote control, this one will start to have some effects in your performance. Because if you use only the standard application, they only have on and off, but you don't configure it what will be on or what will be off, or what code will send for on and what code will send for off. In this way, with the Zigbee to MQTT, you can configure it and you can have much more things in your system, either automizations that you send some specific codes and that the Zigbee device will understand it. In this way, you're going to unlock an unlimited or really long quantity of new application or new possibilities for your home system. So, if you like this idea and you want to learn a little bit more about it, we're gonna show in this video, but first of all, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for the channel if you're not yet, and let's understand a little bit more about it. Before we start to do any installation, you need to understand what you need to have and which system that you need to have, otherwise you're gonna lose your time. First thing, to install Zigbee to MQTT, you need to remember that you need to have MQTT Broker currently installed. In the previous video, I show how you can install Mosquito Broker, and that's uh, configure the integration MQTT. And this configuration, you can have the users and make all the connections. Other thing that you need to be aware of, that if you want to connect your USB dongle or Zigbee dongle in your Raspberry Pi, you need to connect directly. Don't use a USB extension because all the trials that I did have a lot of issues. Maybe you can have a look to have a good extension lead, but uh, it's potentially create more issues in your system. Other thing, you need to have the possibility to add add-ons in the supervisor. If you're using Core, this installation will not work it's better for you to create a Docker container and inside this Docker container install MQTT, otherwise they will not work as expected. So have this one in mind, now we can start to do the installation. Before I start to do any installation, we're gonna go for the official website. Here the official website for GitHub, we have a has Zigbee to MQTT. And here they will explain what you do and they say that it's official Zigbee to MQTT Home Assist Adam, and here in order to get it, you need first to add your repository, and that you do the rest of configuration. But uh, let's go step by step to be simple for everyone. First thing we need to add this repository. So let's do it. I will come here in my Home Assistant, come here in Settings, in Settings I go in Add-on, and here I put Add a Store, and here Add-on I put Repositories. In this stage, I don't have any repository, so we'll pass this link and put add. If you add properly, they will allow you to add it. If you add wrong, they will not allow it. Once that you add, you can put close, and that you should be able to have these options. If you don't appear all these options straight away, the best option for you is you go here in development and restart your system. It means that it will take a couple of seconds for restart, but once that has start, you can come back in add-ons and you should be able to see those options. If it's still not all showing, restart your Raspberry Pi and that will be the best option. So now that I have my Zigbee, I have three different ones. The first one will be my Zigbee to MQTT, this one that we're going to install. The second one is the Edge, where it's a development and that uh, could have some issues. If you want to have a stable version and you don't want to try anything, go for this one. Otherwise, you can go for Edge. And the proxy, if you are using external or something 
different running this MQTT and that you wanted to pull this data. Suppose that you have a Raspberry Pi, another computer or anything else external to this home system, you potentially can do it and proxy it. But in our case, we come here in ZigBee to MQTT and put install. This installation will take some seconds. Once that finish, you should not start. Why you should not start yet? Because if I come here in configuration, everything is empty. You don't have the MQTT and you don't have the serial. So let's try to understand. If I come here in documentation, they will explain how to do it, but don't worry, I will show it for you. So let's come in configuration and open this website and we copy this information. Other thing that I will add as an extra, I will add this first line here, basic topic ZigBee to MQTT. And here I will do all my configuration. If I open another page and I come here integration, here I have my Mosquito MQTT. If I come here configuration and put reconfigurate, if you don't have it, please return for one of my previous videos and that I show how to do it. So here the broker is core Mosquito. So we'll open here and change it. Because I didn't move any doors or didn't change anything. And if I look here, it's port 1883. So I don't need to change it. Now I need to go for my user. I come here and copy this MQTT user and pass here. And the last one, I will put my password. My password here, it's test123. So I'll copy this one and close. Now I can come here and change. So now we configure our MQTT, but it's complete. No, we still have things that we need to configure. To do it, now we need to configure the serials. To configure the serial, we can come here in settings and in system and hardware. Here in hardware, we will have all the properly physical hardware that's connected. So we come here and put add and all hardware. In this way, you can search it, but what I see that's easy, you put USB and that will appear everything that's connected by USB. So SD8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, it's all my partition for my hard drive, my SSD that's connected to avoid an issue. So here is my partition. Now I have two USB dongles connected. The first one will be my Zigbee connection and the second one will be my Z-Wave. In our case, we're going to configure the Zigbee. So I'll come here and look my path have two options to put. I can put dev TTAC, exactly the same way that they suggest here, but I don't suggest you to do it. You know why? Because sometimes if you change the USB 1 to 2 for 3, they will stop to work. The best way is the ID. So if you have this ID, it means that either that you change, you still be able to use the same configuration. You don't need to look again, say, ah, now it's 1, now it's 2, now it's 3. So it's make your life much easier. So let's come here copy the same way, port, and pass here, and come here and copy this information and pass here. Now, one thing, because I'm using a Sonoff Dungle revision E, it means that I need to have the adapter configuration. So in this way, I will copy my adapter configuration and I will pass here. So my adapter will be EZSP. How you know it? It's better you search online in the proper configuration that they will give you the adapter. Each USB dongle could have a different adapter. Some of those don't need to have any adapter configured, so it's totally fine. Once that I did everything, I can put save. Now that save, what I can do? I can come in documentation and return. One thing that I did, it's because I want to show that something changed here. It's totally fine and it means that it will work. It's not this problem. This one always will happen as a port after you create. So if you configure everything correctly, we can come here in info and put start. One thing that I will suggest you to do is to put in sidebar because I want to see it here and I want to configure it later. I can put out update and watchdog. They will take a little bit more CPU in the first time when they start to configure it, but don't worry, it's totally normal. Now we can come here in log and we can see what's going on. In my page, they already have all the configuration, they connect to Mosquito, Mosquito is connected to server, successful, they start and now they say Zigbee to MQTT start. You can come here now and you're gonna be able to add it. Because in this video, not do any configuration and, and add any device, I will not get my device here and that's reconfigurated. What I'm gonna do, I will say that here you can click permit, join, 
and that they will connect for all devices that it's at the moment pairing situation. So in device, you should have a list of all your devices. Of course, if you do this configuration again or delete something, they will restart. But as a standard, all the configuration and a picture for what you have in this way. So now we just finished to explain how you can configure ZigBee to MQTT. In the next videos, I will show how you can configure this or how to configure that and how to add more device. I didn't want to do everything in one video because it will be really long and really boring. So in this way, we arrive at the end of this video. So if you like this video and think that it was interesting, please don't forget to leave your like, consider to subscribe for the channel if you're not yet, and see you next time. Bye.